It is pretty hard to believe that this morning we dealt with a lot of rain across the area, especially with the conditions outside right now. This is a live look in Perryville. The biggest thing to note other than the blue skies is really seeing this flag blowing in the wind, but the sunshine is out for now. Right now it is 68 degrees. It is one of our warmer cities at the moment, but yeah, we're dealing with some winds out of the south right now at 13 miles per hour, so it's a little windy outside. And once that sun sets, it's going to feel pretty chilly out, but temperatures very mild. 66 is exactly where we should be for this time of year, and a lot of us are right on the mark. Marion, Cape, Paducah all right now at 66. On the warmer side, we've got Mount Vernon at 67, but overall a pretty mild evening. But although it's been a really nice day, I have up the threat tracker for tonight because the showers unfortunately do return around midnight tomorrow. They're sticking with us through about lunchtime. And then Thursday, we do see a chance of isolated showers off and on throughout the day, but definitely not a washout by any means. So currently this is what's going on across the area. We have cleared up, not a whole lot happening right now, and that's thanks to this low finally moving off to the east and out of our area. You can see a lot of rain is wrapped around this system. There's a lot of severe thunderstorm warnings down in South Carolina. They've even dealt with some tornadoes today, but here at home we have seen nothing of the sort, just a little bit of rain. We've got our next rainmaker to our west. It's this cold front. As it moves over our area, it's going to be doing a few things. One of them being bringing a lot of rain. We can see the cold front just to our west. As it moves in, it's bringing some of that rain and cloud along with it. Nothing too serious. I know you see some red in here, so you may hear some thunder tonight, but nothing severe at all expected, just some precipitation. So it's also going to be bringing a lot of clouds behind it. And then, of course, it's also going to be dropping our temperatures. But the timing of the rain looks to be pretty short. It's starting tonight at midnight and then kind of like today, letting up around lunchtime. That second chance of rain happening Thursday. It's a lot more isolated and only happening from about noon until 6 p.m. So overall, this is a very light event. We're not expecting a huge washout or any sort of flooding issues. It's just more of a little bit of an inconvenience. So the other thing that we're really seeing with this cold front is a drop in temperatures. So we were in the 50s. Today we're in the 60s, but for Thursday, skipping ahead, we're in the 50s, dropping down to the 30s. That's 37 for a lot of us Thursday morning. We pick back up just a little bit during the day. You can see some of that scattered isolated shower across the area, but then this weekend looks to be pretty chilly, maybe even some light frost or freeze on Saturday. So that's definitely something to note. It is a really nice afternoon, so you might want to run outside and grab some plants, cover them up. Just make sure they're protected for this weekend. As always, download the Storm Track 3 app in case we get a frost advisory or anything serious out of this weekend. But taking a look at our seven day and then our 10 day, there is a lot of rain in the forecast. Luckily, nothing severe and nothing to be a bit of a washout. It's really just going to be a lot of an off and on inconvenience. Finally drying out for the weekend, but hey, temperatures, we like to see that. We're back up into the 70s next Monday. I like that <laughs> spirit and attitude. We're going to look for the 70s. Gotta stay positive. <laughs> All right, thank you, Katie. Thank you.